Hello friends, this is Dave Hurwitz, Executive Editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a review of a halfway very interesting and halfway very atrocious CD of Claude Debussy. There's a little vibration there. Okay, it's Debussy La Mer and the world premiere recording of the Première Suite d'Orchestre. Here you go, with François Xavier Arrot and Les Siecles, that period instrument group, which is doing fairly nonsensical things. Sometimes they do good things. I mean, it's like everybody else, you know? For all the horrible things they do, there will be one that is not horrible. Well, here you get both. It's really kind of fascinating, I have to tell you. You see, because what you have here is the Premiere Suite, which is the world premiere recording of the Premiere Suite. It was very recently rediscovered. Um, it was thought to be lost or incomplete or whatever. It turns out it's complete in a piano version, which um, is actually in like uh, Warner's big DBC box, in the piano version. And the orchestral version exists complete, but for the third movement, um, which was not, we, the orchestration has vanished. Um, DBC evidently did it. It's called Rêve, or Dream, and it has been fabulously, I mean fabulously realized orchestrally by Philippe Manuri, who is so idiomatic that it really sounds like a much later work of DBC because this is a student piece from like the early 1880s, somewhere around there. And it sounds, oh my God, it's gorgeous. So I, I, mean, I don't care, frankly. It works perfectly. The entire piece, it's four movements, fet, of course, ballet, of course, dream, of course, and then cortege and bacchanal, of course. It's French, you've got to have a bacchanal. The problem is that the cortege is more cortege than the bacchanal is bacchanalian. Uh, the bacchanal is is not very steamy. I mean, it doesn't have castanets, for example. And if you don't have castanets, you can't have sex. It's, it's really that straightforward. But it doesn't matter. The music is very, very beautiful. The whole work is lovely early debut. I mean, if you like, for example, the piano fantasy or something like that, you're going to love this. And the performance is beautiful. It's a very attractive performance. Sounds terrific. Really does. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Probably because I don't know it that well, because it's new. I mean, if there were 50 other versions of it, we could talk about it. Maybe I'd think this one's awful, but I don't. I think it's, I think it's perfectly fine. I really, really do. But then we come to La Mer, mm -hmm. the work that has been recorded 150 times and which sounds perfectly dreadful in this measly, awful, thin-sounding, tinny, crapo performance. Now, now I, I, you know, I don't want to go on a rave about the period instrument movement and the foolishness of applying those precepts to earlier 20th century music, because Roth doesn't really do that. I mean, he does not to the extent that he like does the vibrato thing, which is just beyond stupid, especially since La Mer has like notated vibrato in the cello parts in a place or two. Mm -hmm. It's okay. The thing that makes this performance so ridicule um, is, is, is really the following. It's the fact that Debussy for example, let me just tell you an example of how hypocritical it is. And then, you know, I, I mean, I, I'll leave out things like, you know, the tam-tam sounds like a suspended cymbal. You know, it's ridiculous. I, mean, I don't know. Everybody complained about how bad percussion instruments sounded back in those days, especially in France. Mm -hmm. No, there's a wonderful, wonderful moment in La Mer in the first movement, you know, where the cellos come in. You know the passage, that wonderful wonderful middle subject da da ba ya da ba da 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 do do ba do ya da 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 do 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 ba do 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 ba da ba da yeah that thing right well dpc actually indicates that it is supposed to be played by 16 cellos 16 now no orchestra then or now has 16 cellos regularly. That's a lot of cellos. Usually they make do with 12. Sometimes you can get away with 14. But the, the instrumentarium of Les Siecles is happens listed in El Bucchi. There they are. Let us see how many celli we have. We have one. Well, let's see. They don't all play in all works. So give me a second here. Let me look at the asterisk. Musicians who participated in La Mer with the asterisk 
And then they played uniquely in the Premier Suite. Okay, fine. So here's La Mer. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven cellos out of these 16 that Debussy requires. So, screw the period instrument anything. I mean, because one thing we do know, whether or not you have 16 cellos or not, is that Debussy wanted a big, rich string sound, or he wouldn't have asked for 16 cellos. And what do we get here? We get scruffola. We get instrumental dandruff. We get flakes. We get, it's, it's, it's psoriasis in sound. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. I mean, the tempos are okay, but it all just sounds so thin and unatmospheric and lacking in color and in power and in, in, in intensity and, and, and ah, yay, yay! So, for the suite, this is worth having. If you can stream it, listen to that alone. The La Mer is worthless. And of course, the total playing time is quite short. Wait a minute, 50 minutes. And beyond that, it says here, it says here that Le Siecle made the world premiere recording in 2013. Um, here is a brand new remastering. Well, wh what was there to remaster? What was wrong in 2013 that they fixed now? It's just more of the same hogwash, you know, between the authenticity and the remastering and the whatever. I just, I don't care. Oops. Now I have to find it. It fell into a box. Okay. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.